is a 64 tet part of a 64 tetrahedron grid made out of Q-tips. This is factor equilibrium. This is a star tetrahedron. And this is a 64 tetrahedron grid with the next fractal level shown with the uh, what are they called? Um, Pipe cleaners. Now can you rotate that slowly so we can see it? So each side has a square of vector equilibrium on it, on it, and each end, each corner has a triangle on it. So the pipe cleaners are showing vector equilibrium. And there are eight star tetrahedrons in there. Great, thanks. Now, can we separate these two models here? Good. Now, the vector equilibrium that you're touching now has, it's sitting on its square face now, and can you show it on its triangular face? Good. This is how we usually see it if we look it up online, like this. And the star tetrahedron right now is sitting in what I call its cube position, but can you make it stand up on one of its points? Good. And turn. You want to turn it? Great. So we see that it really is a star tetrahedron, but it looks a lot different when it's just sitting there. And it's what I call cube position. So can we put the vector equilibrium back in its cube position also? With a square down? Good. Okay, now. It's a little bit diagonal because we couldn't make it too well. Yes, it is melting in the humidity. Now, if we separate these models, um, can you separate the models a little and make some space? Okay, great. I want to take one of the building blocks, two of the building blocks from the grid, now let's talk about that build, the building blocks. These are, let's put them on the black. These are made of, these are what I call a stellated pyramid. Because in the middle is a pyramid, and each of the faces has a tetrahedron on it. So can you show how these can make a, um, one of those models there? Which one do you want to make first? Vector equilibrium, okay. So to make a vector equilibrium, you put the cross side together. It's getting loose a little bit. Yeah, they are a little loose. Regular Elmer's glue with paper in between is the best way to make these stick, but it's taken a lot of experimentation and a lot of it's gone wrong. So, so can you put like it next to the vector equilibrium so that we can actually see they're the same thing? in the same position. Ah, okay, good. So there you go, you have two vector equilibriums. Now, what do you have to do to turn that into a star tetrahedron? Well, you have to take them apart and then just flip them each over and then put the square on top of square and then it's like that. Ah, okay. So we have two so star tetrahedrons there. So it basically sw switches. So you actually don't even have to turn them over. Did you know that? All you have to do is put the other one on the bottom. Try to try switch. Now you made a vector equal. Now you made a oh, vector. Oh yes, you can now also just turn it. Yeah, just put one of the other one on the top. Good. That makes a star tetrahedron. Great. So. Now, can you put one star tetrahedron on top of the other? Great. And in the middle is a vector equilibrium. Okay, can you show us the vector equilibrium and where it is? So, yes. If you take off this, um, what do you call it? The pyramid and then the four... Um, would, would you prefer to make this out of building blocks instead of a solid one so you can take it apart? Yes. Okay, good. So let's get that out of the way so it's not, um... Okay. Get so that other star tetrahedron out of the way, otherwise it kind of... Uh, to the, put it to the right. Otherwise it 
gets confusing. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. So then, um, you make this here and do the same thing making that. So then what you do... So this is two star tetrahedrons on top of each other. Yeah, and then what you do is you take off the top of this star tetrahedron. Don't put it behind. It's too hard to see from the camera. Put it to the back behind you. Great. And then you take off this bottom of a star tetrahedron, and it gives you that, a vector equilibrium. That's the coolest thing. Now, can you make two vector equilibriums, one on top of each other? Yes, and then that would make a star tetrahedron in the middle, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, without taking it apart, can you show us where the star tetrahedron is? Okay. Well, I'll Just show the eight points. Okay, fine. I'll show the eight points. Okay. Here, here's the one point, mm -hmm. two point, three point, and four point back here, and then over here is the other four. One, two, three. Four. Great, and can you hold the star, the other star tetrahedron right next to the star tetrahedron you just made? See that star tetrahedron? Yeah, put it right next to it and hold it up to the same level. Um. And I'll show that it's the same. Let's see, does that look the same? Yeah. And then, okay, so the, the star tetrahedron and the vector equilibrium are part of each other. You see that? Yeah. Oh, and and um, another thing um, that you can do, if you look carefully, um, there is a tetrahedron that goes inside, right inside there. So guess what? If and then there, it's in all of these. So then you can just basically pull out the point and make it outside in mm -hmm. and it actually makes a star tetrahedron. Okay, so what about the jitterbug? Remember oh. the vector equilibrium that changes shape and it folds down into a... Oh, yes. A um, octahedron? How will we do that? How, how do we show that? Well, just show the vector equilibrium, which is the, yeah. out, the, the most expansive form of the, um, of the shape right there, yeah. and next to it show the um, star tetrahedron. Put them right together and move everything out from behind. There we go. Oops. No, put, put that next to your star tetrahedron. Okay. Put them right next to each other. Okay, so, and then the smallest part, the smallest, um... And the smallest part is the, um, octahedron. Well, leave them together. And here, and here, and here's the octahedron. There's a line. There's a line. So, is it possible that the vector equilibrium... compresses down to an octahedron, and that octahedron is it actually the one that's in the star tetrahedron. And that, and so there's your top pyramid, and then you do the same at the bottom, and there's your bottom pyramid. So just look close enough, and you can actually see um, the octahedron. And then what does the octahedron do? It expands into what? Expands back into star tetrahedron. Well, and then into that, the vector equilibrium, right? It does? Yeah, the, the octahedron that's in the middle of the star tetrahedron expands back into the vector equilibrium. Remember that? <coughs> yes. And it, it turns into an icosahedron on the way. It does? Yeah. Oh, yes. If you make it, 
if you make it just expand coming out, it actually does make an icosahedron, and then it expands even more, and then this is inside. So when one, so when the vector equilibrium, that's the maximum biggest expansion you're going to get. So when you see a vector equilibrium, it's automatically going to begin shrinking back down to the octahedron. It's okay, I can edit it. Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't do don't. It's going to shrink down to an octahedron, and when you see the octahedron, it's going to automatically expand back up to the vector equilibrium. So could it be that the vacuum is constantly breathing? One part's expanding, one part's contracting. So when you see a star tetrahedron in the vacuum, what's it going to be in the next moment? Um, vector equilibrium? Right. And what is the vector equilibrium going to be in the next moment? Mm, octahedron. A star tetrahedron. Star, uh. Right, with the octahedron in the middle. Mm -hmm. and, all, and the tetrahedrons just change their, the way they're pointing, right? Yeah. And the biggest one in the vector equilibrium they're pointing in because they're, they're going to get ready to go back down, back in. Yeah, remember that? I said out, yep. pull it outside in, it makes a star tetrahedron. And in the star tetrahedron, they're pointing out, so it's getting ready to expand. Okay. Thank you for your help.